Determine the measure of angle A in the following diagram. All right, there's a couple of ways of going about this. Uh, one thing to note that I think is fairly obvious to begin with is that angle A plus angle E plus 35 degrees has to equal 180. And this is because those three angles make up a triangle. Now, angle E is the same as 115. Now, the reason for that is that 115 and angle E are corresponding angles. All right, so now we have angle A plus 115 plus 35 equals 180. That gives us angle A plus 150 equals 180. We can subtract 150 from both sides to get angle A equal to 30. Now, again, you could do the same sort of reasoning by saying that angle A plus angle D plus 115 equals 180. This would also work because angle D is equal to 35 because they are corresponding. So you end up with the same formula, just getting it a different way using a different angle in the diagram. But again, you're gonna get that angle A is 30 degrees.